wish this game sucked so I could start out the review by saying snake pass, more like snake ass, but to my sorrow the game is really good. I was hesitant to make this video because I wasn't even sure if you could call this a platformer. The creator of this game said he was inspired by the 3D collector fonts of the past, but there's no actual, well, platforming. Eh, at least it's unique. It's made by Sumo Digital, who tend to make sequels or spin-offs to already well-established series. So bravo to them for something original. The story is that coloured gems go missing from the warp gates in various levels. This will cause you to get stuck forever, so you, Noodle the Snake, have to collect the gems in each stage and take them to their respective pedestals. Four worlds slash realms are available. Each world has four stages, except for the last one for some reason. After you complete a realm, some guardian will reward you with this tablet thingy. The worlds have a single elemental theme like fire and water. There's some mysterious creature who shows up from time to time whom you assume is responsible for this. The story is simple, right to the point and doesn't bog you down with long cutscenes. Just how I like it. There are blue balls and coins that are optional for those who want 100% the game. What separates this game from others is how your character controls. You have to control Noodle like an actual snake. In order to go faster, you have to move in a wavy manner. To climb up bamboo poles, it's best to go in and out and around the gaps. Though, with a lot of the poles, I just did this. I'm not sure if snakes actually do that, but I'm not complaining. It makes the game easier. You have a button to grip around objects tighter, and there's a button that makes Doodle, the bird assistant, grab your tail. This is good when half your body is hanging over an edge. It's a lifesaver. The design is great. There's a light that shines up in the sky where the gems are so you always know where to go. Some of the levels are linear, other levels will give you the option to get gems in whatever order you want. They will put the pedestals in the middle of a stage and place the gems on a path that connects to that hub. When you complete the main game you get snake vision so you can see all the blue orbs and coins. This isn't Banjo-Kazooie where you wander around for ages trying to find that one damn collectible. The game can get really challenging, luckily it's good with checkpoints. I had a lot of fun, it does a lot right, it teaches you everything you need to know quickly. Graphically it looks fantastic. The music by David Wise, my favourite composer, it's alright. However the theme for Cinder's Realm is amazing. The game is challenging but not overbearing. There's a time trial mode and an arcade mode for those who just want some extra stuff. The main mode isn't super long, but going for 100% will satisfy those who thought just collecting the gems weren't enough. There are no enemies. You can understand why when you're playing, because mastering the controls is a sufficient challenge in and of itself. Overall it's a well made, unique game. Since I'm an arsehole I need to have complaints. As I've mentioned before, this is a hard game at times and there were some very frustrating moments. There are some frame rate drops. Most of the time they're at parts that don't matter, however there was one moment where it happens during gameplay and that can make a part harder than it should be. All the levels architecturally look the same, it would be nice if there was some more variety in that regards. Just more level variety in general would be nice, including gimmicks. I mean surely they can think of something more creative than strong winds and swimming underwater. More music too, you can't waste David Wise's talent like that. I heard some people complain about the camera, but most of the time it was bad at parts that didn't affect the gameplay. Compared to old school collectathons, this is a godsend. One last thing, I had fun 100% in Snake Pass, but the reward for doing so sucks ass. It's just a costume. A secret level or some cool cheats would be nice next time. I highly recommend Snake Pass. I had a lot of fun with it, it's cheap now. I hope there's a Snake Pass too. I would love to see how they would expand on the gameplay. See ya.